Cuff Pilot technology is available on all single-use LMA airways with a silicone cuff from Teleflex, the market leader in supraglottic airway devices. Cuff Pilot technology from Teleflex is an integrated single-use cuff pressure indicator that continuously monitors intracuff pressure to help detect changes resulting from fluctuations in temperature, nitrous oxide levels, and movements within the airway providing at-a-glance feedback to highlight changes that could affect patient safety. There is a large body of evidence to show excessive intracuff pressures may also lead to pharyngolaryngeal morbidity, including postoperative sore throat, dysphagia, dysphonia, and or nerve injury. Such injuries are thought to be the result of pressure neuropraxia with hyperinflation of the cuff and associated excessive intracuff pressure being a contributing factor. Data from several randomized controlled trials show that a reduction in intracuff pressure results in a decreased rate of airway morbidity. Cuff Pilot technology enables the end user to monitor the intracuff pressure of the mask through visual means while it is inserted in the patient's airway. There are four pressure zones on the Cuff Pilot valve, each represented by a different color, yellow, green, clear, and red. The position of the black line on the bellows indicates the pressure within the cuff. The yellow zone indicates a pressure of less than 40 centimeters of water. A seal of the laryngeal mask may occur in the yellow zone. However, movement of the black line on the bellows into the yellow zone during the procedure may indicate a possible decrease in pressure or underinflation. The green zone designates optimal intracuff pressure of 40 to 60 centimeters of water. Air is introduced into the cuff of the laryngeal mask until the black line is within the zone and a seal has been obtained. The clear zone located between the green and red zones indicates intracuff pressures between 60 and 70 centimeters of water. The red zone indicates an intracuff pressure of more than 70 centimeters of water. This indicates a possible increase in pressure or overinflation. It is recommended that the pressure be released until the black bellows line is back in the green zone. When connecting the inflation syringe to the connector of the LMA cuff pilot valve, Push and turn the syringe to ensure that the tip of the syringe is inserted far enough that it makes contact with the silicone valve within the cuff pilot valve. Please refer to the product instructions for use for the specific LMA airway you are using to see a full list of inspections and tests which must be conducted before the device is used. The performance tests should be conducted in an area and in a manner consistent with accepted medical practice that will minimize contamination of the device before insertion. For LMA airways with cuff pilot technology, deflate the cuff fully. Ensure that the cuff walls are tightly flattened against each other. Discard if cuff reinflates immediately or spontaneously, even if only slightly, as this indicates possible damage to the device or valve. Reinflate the device to red zone of cuff pilot with a volume of air greater than 70 centimeters of water. Examine the cuff for leaks, herniations, and uneven bulging. If any indications of these problems exist, discard the device. A herniating mask may cause obstruction during use. Deflate the mask again. To deflate the LMA airway with cuff pilot technology, push and turn the syringe to firmly connect the syringe to the inflation port. Ensure that the tip of the syringe is inserted far enough that it makes contact with the silicone valve within the cuff pilot valve. Deflate completely in order to create the stiff, thin, leading edge necessary to wedge the tip behind the cricoid cartilage. The cuff should fold back away from the aperture bars. Disconnect the syringe from the inflation port.
to inflate the LMA airway with cuff pilot technology, push and turn the syringe to firmly connect the syringe to the inflation port. Ensure that the tip of the syringe is inserted far enough that it makes contact with the silicone valve within the cuff pilot valve. The cuff should be inflated with sufficient air to prevent a leak with positive pressure ventilation, but it must not exceed either a pressure of 60 centimeters of water or the maximum cuff volume of the specific device. The green zone designates optimal pressure of the cuff between 40 and 60 centimeters of water. Air is introduced into the cuff until the black line is within the zone and a seal has been obtained. The yellow zone indicates a pressure of less than 40 centimeters of water. A seal may be obtained in the yellow zone. However, movement of the black line on the bellows into the yellow zone during the procedure may indicate a possible decrease in pressure or underinflation. The red zone indicates a pressure of more than 70 centimeters of water. This indicates a possible increase in pressure or overinflation. It is recommended that the pressure be released until the black bellows line is back in the green zone. This completes a demonstration of how to use LMA airways with cuff pilot technology. For more information and to download the complete product instructions for use, visit lmaco-ifu.com.